Hi everyone, welcome to a new Beatles Vines video. I got a lot of good stuff here, a lot of good vinyl, and I think a lot of you are going to be very excited by this. I know that I am. To start with, uh, I'm going to show this upgrade of Meet the Beatles. This is uh, a mono version. Um, I believe that it's the original shrink. I get mixed up with these because sometimes they say that the original Beatles albums were not in the shrink wrap, they were reshrunk, whatever. Uh, but it's in really great shape. But it, you know, it is an original. And you can see the store sticker there where it was it was gotten. There are a couple of breathe holes in there. If you see under John's chin there on the side, got one. Then you got there's another one. Uh, by his hair. <laughs> so we've got that. Uh, this one does not say produced by George Martin on the back. Um, when I take it out of the outer jacket, you'll see it's kind of a darker blue inner sleeve. Record itself is pretty clean. And uh, I'm starting to learn it, you know, about the ASCAP. This does have the BMI and ASCAP credits on it. So it's, I don't think it's the very first pressing out of, out of the factory, so to speak, right? Um, <clears throat> so this was a pretty good find. Um, let's see. Next up, I got a couple of upgrades. And as I show you this first upgrade, if you're aware, over in the corner down here, this album is down here on the side. I took it out after I bought this upgrade. The one I have down there is not in bad shape. This one here. But this one is a little better, I think. Uh, so I was happy to upgrade it. It's a Canadian album called Beatlemania. Or Beatlemania with the Beatles. This is just in really nice shape. You know, all the sides and... Uh, binding is not split or anything. The only bad thing about it is that -da, it is written on by the original owner. And sometimes uh, I enjoy that. I mean, I rather, I'm not going to try to, you know, rationalize. I'd rather the writing not be there. But sometimes when you have original vintage writing from the person who bought it originally or owned it, it kind of makes it feel like a vintage 60s piece. But I still would prefer it without. Uh, it has the inner sleeve capital of Canada and as I say the record over there is not as nice but it's close um, there's the uh, owner's initials MM on it and I forget what they call that uh, in a that circle there is it called deep groove or micro groove whatever it's called uh, really like that on records just you know it's one of my things I don't know what it is, the, the label uh, indentation circle thing. I like that. So, that was a nice upgrade. I also upgraded this next record. It's a couple of up, three upgrades, I think, at least I'm going to have here. This is another Canadian record in really nice shape. Twist and Shout. Very clean cover. And again, as I say, you know, no seam splits or anything. Very nice outer binding there. Uh, again, the back is clean, except, see how clean that is? Very nice. Except, again, for Margaret's name. <laughs> so, that that's the only thing. And the record is the same deal as the last one. You know, not too bad. Pretty clean. I did play both of these. They sounded really good, but I did play it at my store on a really, really Really good turntable with a good stylus. Um, so, there's two upgrades of early Beatles albums. And that, that first one I showed there, Beatlemania with the Beatles, with the black cover, that was ahead of Meet the Beatles. You know, it came out before the uh, U.S. version. Uh, it's hard to do this. I'm going to have to wait till later to put these away. So I will do that. I won't hold up the video too much. All right. Next up, another upgrade. Songs, pictures, and stories of the fabulous Beatles on VJ. You know, it has that little kind of mini half gatefold. So, you know, it's an original. 
but it's really clean this one it's in pretty good shape considering and the record itself you know as a lot of people already know basically they just took the album introducing the Beatles just put it in this this other jacket they tried to you know reissue this over and over again in many different ways you know so this is the way they repackage this can you say cash grab I thought you could <laughs> hey but you know, like I say about cash grabs yeah it's a cash grab for sure but that's the name of the game it's been the name of the game since the beginning of time people looking to make money you know what are you going to do? You either buy it or you don't. All right, now here's an interesting little story. And uh, basically, uh, when I went to a record store, they have a pile in the corner of discarded records, records that are all, like, scratched up, torn up, records that are really not worth selling. So they were thrown in the dumpster, and they're for, all right for anybody to go over in the corner, and you can pick them up. So that's what I did. I looked through. There were some Beatle records, torn covers, scotch tape, records falling out of the jackets and written on so I looked but I happened to notice in the junk pile there was this was in one of them there were some pictures here of the Beatles look like vintage shots not in great shape they all have pinholes on them so I figured that this was probably why they were thrown out I mean because they weren't in great shape you know or were they thrown out hmm that is the question but you know what Finders keepers, losers weepers, and uh, look at those holes in there. You can see here the corner is a little chewed off, right, of George. Uh, these are vintage 1964 shots. Same thing, you got the pinholes, a lot of pinholes, a lot of, a lot of hanging in the day, you know. You know, still nice to have these. Don't know why they threw them away. But it's my lucky day. Okay, uh, now we're, we're looking at some more upgrades here in a way. I had to pick this up. I had this already. Uh, but this is, this is so sharp. I mean, I have this in nice enough shape, but I think this one's a little nicer, and I'm looking to upgrade stuff. That's a really good condition, Youngblood album. Uh, this is an a unofficial album. And uh, like a lot of unofficial albums, uh, the sound quality, quality leaves much to be desired on here. There's a lot of BBC stuff in uh, inferior quality, although there is a Christmas show here uh, from the uh, 22nd of December of 1963 that's pretty good, although the sound quality leaves a lot to be desired on it. Okay, uh, this one was only five bucks. I picked it up because it was only five bucks. Another unofficial record. The Beatles back in 64 at the Hollywood Bowl. Uh, you know, this is where, again, I'm not sure always what I already have. I picked this up because it had the shrink, or should I say partial shrink. You see that? Partial shrink. <laughs> but I thought, well, this is an upgrade. Then I get this thing home, and I look up in my rack, and I find out I have this in full shrink. So in other words, I didn't really need this. But, you know, it's clean, and for $5, why not? You can always trade with another Beetle fan. You can always sell it or something. Uh, let's stick along those same lines for a while longer. This is another one that I got as an upgrade. I have this one already, too, Beatles at Jay Stadium, but it's uh, described by erupting fans. Um... And, you know, I'm wondering, too, if I've shown this already. Damn, you know, I'm saying, did I show some of these in past videos? Ah, damn it, I'll, if I did, I'll show it again. Anyway, be that as it may, Beatles fans talk at Shea. It's not the Beatles performing. It's just the fan reaction in the crowds of the Beatles and interviews and things like that. So this is a fun record to cap capture the feel and the hysteria of Beatlemania at that time. Got two more uh, similar upgrades. This is a really beautiful copy of... Uh, Five Nights in a Judo Arena, Beatles on Stage in Japan, 1966. This is one of the best quality unofficial records you're ever going to hear. Uh, it's probably taken right off the film or of this. There's actually, you know, performance. It's even on Laserdisc now. Uh, Beatles, you know, the black suits performance that they do in the black suits. 
I have this already, but a little dirtier cover. This is really, really beautiful. And these were not expensive, you know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have bought them if they were expensive, you know, just to upgrade them. Same thing here, $5, Beatle Talk. This is a very common album. A lot of people know this album. The Way They Were in 64 with Red Robinson, who you can see there, Red Robinson. He talks to the Beatles. It's an interview album. And this, everybody has this. I'm sure even a lot of people who don't have big Beatle collections may find this. This is easy to find. And I, it's my double it's second copy of it. Um, I managed to finally pick up, for more than I wanted to spend on this, unfortunately, the archive edition of Red Rose Speedway, Paul McCartney and Wings. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. I won't do an opening of it, probably not. But uh, this is, I think, now this is pretty much complete as far as the archives collection. Yes, I do have the uh, double disc Red Rose Speedway special record, you know, double collection, which somebody was nice enough to buy me as a gift. So thanks again for that. And finally, this is an odd record. I don't think I've ever seen this. It's on Pickwick, which is an inferior comp. Uh, company, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, and it says there, not the original soundtrack. So, uh, I don't know what this is. I thought this might be excerpts from the Peter Frampton Bee Gees movie. Uh, I don't really know what it is, but uh, it's on the crummy Pickwick label, but, you know, only a couple of bucks and nice cover, you know, good to have for the collection. So, I thank you, everybody, for watching this edition of new Beatles finds, and uh, I also have just uploaded, don't know which order I'm going to upload them in, vinyl finds of all kinds that are not Beatles, so check that out too, and thank you everybody, it's always great doing these videos, have a good day.